Our peak times at Sport Radar really are about the sports we're covering. So if you think about, you know, Man United versus Liverpool in the 88th minute, or like the Red Sox and the Yankees in the ninth inning, those are the times where we're going to have really spiky, sudden load of customers jumping on the platform wanting to place a bet. We process a ton of data and a ton of events every day. A recent count put us, uh, I think, 30 terabytes a month for, for all the data, and that's like 890,000 events. So it's um, you know really important that we have good metrics around that and, and obviously can, can understand the customer experience. When I'm troubleshooting an issue, obviously, you know, if it's a live problem that's affecting our production environments, speed is obviously of the essence, you know, making sure that our customer experience doesn't get as affected as it can be. New Relic is great at bringing all that information together. You've got your login, you've got your application monitoring, you've got your infrastructure, all in that one single pane that you can look at the, look at the information and try and figure out what's misconfigured, what's under too much load, what's broken. When I first came to New Relic um, as an engineer, I, I thought the open source tooling that I'd used before was quite capable, but it just didn't give that joined up view of your whole application health. We really were spending a lot of our time maintaining it. Um, and whenever we would bring new services on board, we were spending a lot of our time setting that up and getting it working. We installed the new Relic uh, integration with um, Kubernetes and you know right off the bat it gives you that sort of overhead view of you know your cluster, the nodes in the cluster and how all the pods are behaving. Are there any stuck waiting? Are there any that are constantly failing? Uh, so it was a really good simple Helm chart that you deploy out that you sort of almost instantly get that insight. But it also allows you to get more rich data on stuff like the Kubernetes events, the logs out of Kubernetes and all that sort of thing. The way the, the dependencies work between stuff in New Relic is super, it gives you so much information there. And also just a, you know, one of those usability things, being able to generate a permalink for exactly the view you're looking at to give the context to another engineer who you're trying to work on a problem with or to debug something is just super powerful. New Relic is making my life easier by allowing our development teams to focus more on building their applications in the right way and building features over building observability.